Welcome to the sixth of 13 SPSS video tutorials accompanying the first edition of the text Introduction to Statistics for Social Sciences. In this tutorial we will be using IBM SPSS Statistics version 19. If you are running a different version of the software you may notice some slight differences between them. In this tutorial we will demonstrate how to split a data set and select specific cases within a data set. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need the file Chapter 6 Video Tutorial Data.sav. As this is the same data set used in the Chapter 3 SPSS tutorial, we won't discuss the definition of each variable here. If you require this information, please refer back to the Chapter 3 SPSS tutorial. Suppose you need to know the mean age of only those respondents who were repeat offenders. By now, you know how to obtain the mean of a variable, but so far the calculation of the mean has included all respondents. What we need is a way to isolate those who are repeat offenders and then request the mean age of only those respondents. There are several ways to achieve this. You could simply delete the respondents you don't need, but that can be time consuming, not to mention that you may accidentally miss a respondent. Another option would be to use the Explore option under the Descriptive Statistics drop down menu. However, for this tutorial, we will look at how to split the data set and select specific cases within the data set. This is a very useful feature that you will quite likely need to use at some time in the future. So although using the Explore option might be quicker, understanding how to split a data set and select cases within a data set will be useful when you need to run more elaborate analysis on specific respondents. The commands for splitting a data set and selecting cases are both under the Data drop-down menu. When you select Split File, a window will appear providing you with the options available for this command. There are three options in this window. The first is not to split the file. The second is to split the file into groups and compare any analysis by groups. And the third is to split the file into groups and organize the output by groups. We'll start with the second option and then switch to the third option so you can see the difference between the two. To start, we select the variable that we wish to split the file with. Then we select Compare Groups. Next, we move our variable into the Groups Based On field and then press OK. Although we don't see anything at this point, the output will reflect the split file choice we just made. Now we can request the mean value for age through the usual descriptive statistics option. In the output, we can see that a mean value of age has been calculated for non-repeat offenders and repeat offenders. One thing to remember is that the split file setting will remain on until we reset it. To do this, we go back to the Split File window and press the Reset button. Now, to split the file and organize the output by groups, we follow the same process as before, only this time we select the Organize Output by Groups option. Now, if we request the mean value of age, the output is separated into the non-reoffender and reoffender groups. Now suppose you want to select specific cases rather than splitting the file into groups. For example, you may want to select only the repeat offenders or perhaps only those between a certain age or only those who had served over 3,000 days in prison. To do this, we first need to reset our split file setting, or else the results will be split into groups. We then use the Select Cases option under the Data drop-down menu. 
Then click the If Condition is Satisfied radio button. Once we press the If button, we can then define our criteria for selecting the cases. For this example, we'll say select only those cases where the answer to repeat offender equals 2, which is the code for yes. We then press continue and then OK. We can now see that SPSS has crossed out those cases where the variable repeat does not equal 2. This means that these cases will not be included in any analysis we do until we reset the Select Cases option. Now when we request the mean value of age, we see that only the cases we requested are included in the calculation of the mean. To reset the Select Cases option, we go back to the Select Cases window and press the Reset button. As you can see, all of the cases are now available again. This brings us to the end of the SPSS video tutorial for Chapter 6. We hope that you have found this tutorial to be useful. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to merge two SPSS files together.